Look up at the winter sky, Orion the hunter stands proud, his right shoulder glowing with fiery orange, Beetlejuice. It's not just any star, it's a red supergiant, massive and unstable, living on borrowed time. Astronomers have watched it for centuries, knowing it nears the end of its life. One day, it will go supernova, a cosmic firework display unlike any humanity has ever witnessed. Betelgeuse is a titan. If you swapped our sun with Betelgeuse, it would engulf Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and even Jupiter. Its immense size means it burns through its nuclear fuel at a furious pace, racing towards an explosive finale. This isn't a gentle fade into the night, it's a dramatic exit. For years, Betelgeuse has been a source of fascination and mystery, pulsating, brightening, and dimming. This stellar heartbeat tells us about the complex physics churning deep within its core. We know something big is coming. The question isn't if Betelgeuse will explode, but when. A supernova in our galactic backyard, roughly 650 light years away, is a rare event. The last one clearly visible to the naked eye in our Milky Way was Kepler's star in 1604. Betelgeuse offers an unparalleled opportunity to study the death throes of a massive star in unprecedented detail. It's a cosmic drama, and the curtain is about to rise. Enter the hero of our story, the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST. This isn't just another telescope, it's a time machine, an infrared detective, humanity's most powerful eye on the cosmos. Launched on Christmas Day 2021, it represents a monumental leap in our ability to observe the universe. JWST orbits the Sun about a million miles from Earth, at a special spot called the Second Lagrange Point, or L2. Infrared telescopes need to be incredibly cold to detect faint heat signals from distant cosmic objects. JWST uses a giant five-layer sunshield to block out warmth, allowing its instruments to chill down to near absolute zero. What makes JWST special is its focus on infrared light, which can pierce through cosmic dust. This allows JWST to see the birth of stars and planets, the cores of galaxies, and the intricate details of a star like Betelgeuse. Before JWST, we had other great telescopes like Hubble, but JWST opens a new window. It's designed to answer some of the biggest questions in astronomy. How did the first stars and galaxies form? How do planets get their start? Are we alone? Pertinent to Betelgeuse, what really happens when a massive star reaches the end of its life? JWST is our best tool yet to find those answers. It's a revolution in progress. Betelgeuse has always been a bit of a showman, its brightness naturally varying over cycles. But in late 2019 and early 2020, Betelgeuse dimmed more than ever recorded. Astronomers called it the Great Dimming, losing more than two-thirds of its usual brightness. Was this it? Was Betelgeuse finally about to explode? The dimming was dramatic and unprecedented. Some speculated it was a sign of impending core collapse, while others were more cautious. Telescopes around the world turned their gaze towards Orion's shoulder. The leading explanation pointed to a massive ejection of material from the star's surface. Imagine Betelgeuse coughing out a giant cloud of gas, which then cooled and condensed into dust. This dust cloud acted like a temporary screen blocking some of its light. It was a stellar sneeze, a very, very big sneeze. This event was a stark reminder of how dynamic and volatile these aging stars can be. Even after the great dimming, Betelgeuse didn't quite return to its old self immediately. Its pulsations seemed altered, its rhythm off, like the star was still recovering. This event highlighted how much we still have to learn about the final stages of stellar evolution. Our models give us a general picture but the specifics? Those are still areas of active research. Betelgeuse was providing a live-action laboratory. With Betelgeuse acting strange, it was a prime target for the James Webb Space Telescope. JWS, with its exquisite infrared sensitivity, was perfectly suited to dissect what was happening. If Betelgeuse was still shrouded in remnants of its dusty outburst, JWS would see it. The telescope's powerful instruments like NIRCAM and MIRI were ready. Scientists wanted to map the temperature variations across its surface and see the structure of any ejected material. Is it a smooth, steady outflow, or is it clumpy and episodic, like the Great Dimming suggested? These details are crucial for refining our models of how red supergiants evolve and explode. The giant golden eye of Webb turned towards this stellar behemoth. The data began to stream back to Earth, processed and analyzed. Would it confirm our theories or force us to rethink everything we knew about these dying giants? The unsettling revelation, Betelgeuse's fiery breath. The James Webb Space Telescope didn't just see dust, it saw something that made astrophysicists sit up straight. JWST detected enormous, localized convection cells churning on Betelgeuse's surface. These weren't just big, they were colossal, far larger and more energetic than predicted. Imagine continent-sized bubbles of superheated plasma rising from deep within the star. These super convection cells were behaving in a startlingly asymmetric way, instead of uniform boiling Betelgeuse's surface had distinct, monstrous upwellings. These cells were so powerful they were dredging up material from deep layers of the star, material rich in elements that should still be buried far closer to the core. 
it was like the star was prematurely exhaling parts of its almost cooked core. JWS observed distinct plumes of this deep layer material being ejected from these localized hotspots. These weren't gentle stellar winds, these were focused powerful ejections. This was a new kind of mass loss, a new kind of stellar activity. This discovery was unsettling because it suggested Betelgeuse isn't just shedding its outer layers, it's tearing itself apart from the inside out in a chaotic piecemeal fashion. Our models typically assume a more or less spherical symmetry as a star approaches its end. This new data paints a picture of a star that is far more turbulent and structurally unstable. The fiery breath of Betelgeuse was revealing a far more complex and violent process. Stellar blueprints torn asunder. JWST's findings on Betelgeuse's convection aren't minor tweaks, it's like discovering flawed blueprints. Our stellar evolution models rely on assumptions now looking shaky. Massive convection cells challenge our hydrodynamic theories. This impacts Betelgeuse's lifespan and supernova type. Early element leakage affects interstellar chemical enrichment. The universe's recipe book just got a major revision. The boundary between life and death blurs. Stellar blueprints might need a complete rewrite. A supernova foretold but not understood? For decades we've been saying Betelgeuse will explode soon in astronomical terms. This new JWST data adds a new layer of urgency and uncertainty. If the star is already tearing itself apart, does this accelerate its journey to supernova? Or does it somehow prolong it by relieving internal pressure in unexpected ways? The answer for now is, we don't know. The asymmetry observed by JWST is crucial. Supernova explosions themselves are often asymmetric. Does this asymmetry arise only during the core collapse or does the star know it's going to explode asymmetrically much earlier? These JWST findings suggest the latter. The star itself is already lopsided and chaotic in its death throes. This pre-existing asymmetry could influence how the supernova unfolds. This discovery will trigger new research. Astronomers will want to point JWST and other telescopes at Betelgeuse repeatedly. Are these superconvection cells stable? Do they rotate? Do they pulse? We now have a new set of observational signatures to look for in other aging giants. Ultimately, this discovery reminds us that predicting the exact timing and nature of a supernova is incredibly hard. We can foretell the supernova, but to truly understand it, that journey just got a lot more interesting. The universe beckons. Why we keep exploring. The big takeaway from Betelgeuse's latest tantrum is that the universe is under no obligation to make sense according to our theories. Every time we build a new tool we don't just confirm what we know, we uncover new mysteries. This isn't a setback, it's progress. Each unexpected discovery is a doorway to deeper knowledge. It fuels our curiosity and drives us to ask better questions. The fact that a star 650 light years away can still surprise us is a testament to the cosmos's richness. It's a cosmic invitation to keep looking, questioning, and learning. Space exploration isn't just about pretty pictures, it's about understanding our place in the universe. The elements that make up our planet were forged in the hearts of stars like Betelgeuse. By studying these cosmic processes we are studying our own origins. The journey of discovery is endless. The James Webb Space Telescope is just one more step on that journey. What other surprises does Betelgeuse hold? What will JWS find when it looks at other stars? The universe beckons, full of wonders and puzzles. Humanity, driven by an insatiable thirst for knowledge, will continue to answer its call. The quest continues, always.